Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, Dr. Yit Kalam is here to help us better understand and get a clearer view of common visual problems. Let's get now to our viewer questions. Mary from Santa Rita asks, I see spots of light or zigzags of light before I get a migraine. Is that normal and what causes it? It's very common. That is called an aura and many people with so-called classic migraine will get that about 20 minutes up to maybe even a day before they get their migraine headache. And like we were mentioning earlier, it's a situation where your brain cells are firing off messages independently of what you're seeing with your vision. So that's an interesting thing because your perception is not the same as your vision that day. That's interesting. Is there any way to prevent that? Uh, no way to prevent unless you know that there's a trigger for your migraine, but if you do see an aura, you know for sure your migraine's coming and you should at that moment take your medication to try to abort the migraine. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Stephanie from Jigo asks, my eyes twitch often when I haven't gotten a good night's sleep. What causes twitching? And how can I make it stop? That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, around our eyes, each eye has six major muscles that make the eye move in different directions and they have to be coordinated. And then we have the muscles of the eyelids. Um, so lots of little muscles there. And when you're tired or stressed, um, those muscles can start firing independently of your brain and they're just doing their own thing and you get a little twitch and sometimes people, other people can't see it but you can feel your own twitch and uh, that means it's time for a rest or maybe de-stressing or sometimes if it's long-standing then I'll relax it with a tiny drop of Botox in their eyelid and just relax the muscles. Oh wow, can be yeah. that serious then. Mm -hmm. Okay, Norma from Dedido asks, how do I know if my child is colorblind? That's a different one. Great question, yes. Okay, so in children, um, boys are much more common, commonly colorblind than girls, about eight times as often as girls. And the most common color blindness is red and green. So if you have a young child that can't tell blocks apart, uh, you know, the play blocks and they can't notice which one is red or green, then you might have a problem. Or sometimes stop signs, uh, stop lights also, they might not be able to tell which one is which. They might call it the top one and bottom one rather than red and green. Um, uh, in that situation, you might need to get your, eye, your eyes checked. And you can do this at home. You can Google something called Ishihara, I-S-H-A, uh, Ishihara, however you spell that, <laughs> um, plates. You could Google that, and it'll come up on your computer screen as a, little, as a bunch of little dots with a number in the middle. And you can ask your child, what number is this? If they can see the number, then they're not colorblind. So they have a series of plates that you can just do online yourself. Ishihara. Ishihara. All right. Frank from <laughs> Telefapa asks, I wear contacts and have noticed my vision has consistently gotten worse over the years. Are contact lenses bad for my eyes and my eyesight? Well, they can be if you're not wearing them properly. Of course, if you're over wearing them, you're not taking them out, you're not cleaning them, you're more prone to infections. And when you're wearing contact lens, your eye cannot breathe as well. So if you're, if you should use them properly. Okay, and Cheryl from Tumon asks, can smoking affect my vision? Another great reason to quit, Cheryl. <laughs> yes, because uh, smoking does make you more prone both to cataracts and macular de degeneration. We we're talking about the blind spot. So definitely quit smoking. All right, Larry from Mangwang asks, is it true carrots help improves one, improve one's vision? And you know, my improve. mom said it did all those years. <laughs> improve, no. Uh, preserve, yes. Um, now carrots um, uh, have vitamin A in them, and we talked about that a few weeks ago. Uh, vitamin A, in, uh, in one carrot you get about twice the amount of vitamin A you need in one day. And uh, if you eat a carrot a day, it will help preserve your night vision especially. Interesting. Okay. And our last question comes from Edward from Jonya. I have bad allergies, especially to gnats, and my eyes become irritated and swollen. How do I treat that? Yeah. Great question. Okay. Gnats are really common on Guam, and what you're having is an allergic conjunctivitis. The conjunctiva is the clear covering of your eye that goes down under onto your eyelid. It's kind of pink. It gets pink and pink eye. And um, gnats can be irritating to your conjunctiva. So if you know you're, it's gnat season, you're going to be exposed, take Claritin or Allegra before that even happens. You can take Benadryl by mouth, or you can pick up some drops over the counter. They're called Nafcon, or there is some, one called Zatatin. Alloway. These are drops that you can buy over the counter and use for maybe up to a week to help you. But 
generally the best thing to do is avoid the nuts. And that's hard to do it sometimes is. on Guam. All right, Doc, we want to just leave with our viewers uh, just some tips on daily health, um, daily ways to care for your eyes to keep them healthy. Sure. So I think the most important thing is um, as far as children, young children, if you notice that they're squinting or they're sitting very close to the TV, get them checked because early intervention is really, really important. Um, glaucoma can even affect young children. Usually it's older, but it can affect young people. And then as far as older adults, um, please get your eyes checked every couple of years, just at least um, drop by the optometrist. Uh, if you're diabetic, you should have your eyes checked every year. And then as far as daily, um, protect your eyes. If you're doing hammering or nailing, something like that, um, work with chemicals, wear goggles so that your eyes can be protected and safe. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Doc, again, as always, for the great advice. Dr. Lam will join us again in studio next week when we will be talking about getting ready for college, health and safety. If you have any questions, send them to us at healthylivingatkuam.com, or, of course, you can post them on KUAM News Facebook page.